Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Today is new bridge day with the grand opening of the Totem Lake Connector Bridge. You do not want to miss this video because there's just so many people here that are super excited about this project. You get to learn about what it connects, what it's about, and yeah, it's definitely going to be a game changer for the East Rail and I think just cycling overall in King County. So let's go. It's a super exciting day as the Totem Lake Connector Bridge is finally open. You can see there's a lot of people on the bridge right now crossing over as there's lots of festivities. So let's get a little bit closer and check it all out. Alright, so as we're getting onto this bridge here, there's a ton of things going on today, a ton of information to share. So what we're going to do is first give an overview of what the Totem Lake Connector Bridge project is and then we're going to check out some of the festivities and celebrations going on including that giant march across the bridge and then lastly I'm going to go give an in-depth sort of explanation and walkthrough of how cyclists might want to use this bridge and what kind of routes it connects. So without further ado, let's get into it. We are on the Totem Lake Connector Bridge. So this is a major milestone for the East Trail project. This is a, a significant connection through a pretty intense, unpleasant intersection here. And it, it helps connect the northern part of the trail that currently extends as far as Woodenville to the southern part of the Cross Kirkland Corridor, which currently goes all the way to the Spring District. So glad to be out here with so many people celebrating. Speaking of celebrations, let's head over and check out what kind of festivities and amenities they have here today. I see a lot of food, I see a bike valley, and just some different booths set up. Uh, probably some prizes and local sort of things. So super exciting day, ton of people here. And then they also have a ribbon cutting ceremony that's going to happen in a little bit. So let's all check it out. Let's check it all out. So here is a bike valet ran by Livable Kirkland and the Kirkland Greenways. It's an amazing amenity as I feel that's such a big blocker to so many people to bike to places. And just having that peace of mind is well worth it. And the greatest big hit of today in this old parking lot is definitely this booth here. And it turns out that it was a petting zoo. So definitely a family favorite. I couldn't see exactly what animals were here today. But yeah, it's sort of funny how you just set this up and just people would come and enjoy it. As well as just some local organizations uh, sort of sharing about what's happening, transportation related and whatnot. So uh, with that, let's move on to the big march across the bridge. So this was all the people that was waiting and listening to the opening speech and ribbon cutting ceremony. It's a lot of people. And before you ask, I am using a three meter tall selfie stick with a 360 camera. I've been playing it around with a lot of my videos recently and this seemed like an awesome opportunity to use it. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna march across this bridge as well as get an aerial drone shot selfie uh, from the city. So that's a lot of fun. And then at the front, there's also like a live marching band playing some music. So yeah, as we walk across here, this will get you a bigger, better perspective of really uh, what you're overcoming with this bridge. Uh, there's all sorts of users here today from cyclists to just people walking along and with their families and it's just so crowded which is awesome to see infrastructure being used like this. Obviously it's not always going to be this crowded but I think in terms of really what it does for the East Rail in terms of really making a route uh, of just connecting uh, the whole North Lake without any cars, it's soon becoming an actual full reality. As well as just sort of really uplifting this whole neighborhood. Uh, before it was just sort of like spliced open by this huge road, but now you can cross over, you can make it to the village where there's a ton of new developments, new restaurants and everything. This whole area has been a big focus of the city. So yeah, just being able to make this all sort of in the hands of human mobility again, uh, pedestrians, bikes alike, it's just really great to see. And yeah, uh, we're just going to march slowly across enjoying this beautiful day. And now I'm going to do a full walkthrough from start to finish in terms of what it looks like on a bike and then where you can expect to connect with it as well. So we're now on the south end of the Totem Lake Connector Bridge on the East Rail Cross Kirkland Corridor Trail. And now you're presented with two options. You can go to the right, which brings you back to street level, or you can go up onto this new bridge and cross over. Uh, honestly, this bridge is pretty simple to use. It's not very long at all, but what it unlocks is simply amazing as uh, you're able to then now just continue right onto the East Rail 
go towards um, Slater Avenue onto 124th, where then you can connect onto Woodenville. And that basically is a direct connection onto the Sammamish River Trail. I've brought this up in a video of mine before, so you can check that out as well. But yeah, it's just as simple as that. It's just a uh, bridge here that finally lets cyclists uh, sort of have a smooth path over this whole area. It just can't really believe it. It's just sort of the same feeling when we got those protected bike lanes on Highway 99. It just feels like we finally are prioritized again in terms of just human mobility. So in terms of what this sort of unlocks, it's mainly around the North Lake Loop. Now basically we have the Burke Gilman, the Sammamish River Trail, the East Rail and 520 Trail forming a pretty much car-free complete loop. There's still a few gaps such as maybe the uh, north up connector between the East Rail and 520 or other things like that, but it's really, really getting close. So, uh, so that's definitely a new route to try and probably will end up being quite the Seattle classic. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of this bridge? Will you come ride the East Rail? And yeah, I mean, what kind of routes does this unlock for you? Uh, it's a pretty momentous day and I think this will probably be one of the largest openings this year given that with a link it's still uh, not up and coming yet but there's still a lot more big ones to come so remember to roll over that like button and subscribe if you're interested in these types of updates. I do my very best to get there that day and make sure that I can report back to all of you. So with that I think this pretty much covers it so happy riding, happy walking and I'll see you all in the next video.